Hello and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be creating an enhanced walk cycle. If you haven't done creating a walk cycle parts 1, 2, 3 and 4, it is strongly recommended that you do so since most of what we're going to do here is based on what we learned on those tutorials. So go check them out and then come on back. Now if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. In this tutorial, we're going to take our default walk cycle and turn it into a proud walk. So let's go ahead and get started. To make him look proud, we're going to make him stand straight. So right now he's kind of leaning forward. So let's go ahead and play with the spine. Next, we're going to go ahead and pick the upper body or or the uh, chest area, which is called uh, spine uh, O2. And we are going to go ahead and select the X rotation as well. But in here, what we're going to do is going to give it a little bit of back and forth action. So I'm going to delete this middle keys over here. And then I'm going to start adding some keys at the, at frame 20, which is the passing pose. Notice that he's leaning backwards right now. Uh, let me go ahead and just remove here the play bar so we have an even bigger real estate here to, to see things better. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a key over here. So let's go ahead and add a key. And I am going to move this key so that he stands straight at this pose right that all right so this looks good so let's go ahead and do so at the next passing pose of the walking cycle and uh, what we could do is just copy the values of this key here first so I'm going to copy this and go control C and I am going to go ahead and create another key in here select that key and then paste those values Control v press enter so and now i'm going to go ahead and make it fit uh frame the whole curve there so uh notice that uh, it is not smooth the curve here so what we we can do is just go ahead and select these keys and do an auto smooth to make it smoother all right and then what we can do is uh make it fit vertically a little bit better so we're going to zoom vertically like so and next what we want to do is give it a little bit of follow through here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the curves go this way like so. And then take the curve over here and go like this. So you notice now that as I play our walk cycle, he's walking nice and proudly with his chest moving back and forth as he walks. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the hip area. Let's select the, the, uh, the hip one, one more time. And this time what I want to do is play with the position in Y. Because you will notice that his hip now is a little bit off center. So I'm going to go ahead and take these extra keys and remove them from here. Select the curve over there. And now I'm going to go ahead and just move it so that his walk is a little bit leaning a little bit towards the front so as he walks down he looks forward and he's looking good look at that all right next let's exaggerate the steps with this we're going to use the reach effectors Next, let's go ahead and uh, do the same thing with the left foot. So let's go ahead and uh, make that visible. 
and let's make sure he makes that nice stride uh, upwards as he walks forward and we're going to remove this key so it does a nice interpolation between that one between the low and the high and uh, let's go ahead and uh, make sure that this leg also has a nice little stride forward at this point so let's go ahead and uh, move it like that and what we're going to do here is we're going to copy the, this key and paste it at the end of the cycle as well so it matches like so and uh, for the left uh, for the right leg I think we're good so let's see there and there so let's have him walk see what happens all right so he's walking nice and confident right now everything looks good so now let's go ahead and play with the arms let's give him a nice uh, uh, raise the arms kind of a proud cycle walk and um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, select we'll go back to the curve editor and uh, select our character here and we're going to select our FKIK mode uh, FK mode here so we have uh, our avatar here so we can select body parts we're going to select the right clavicle here and uh, let's go ahead and give him uh, a nice arm posture here so let's go ahead and uh, lift the arm up and move it this way like so like that all right nice and proud walk there now let's go ahead and uh lift this up a little bit and uh let's go ahead and get the upper arm now and move that like so like this and um and like that and now let's go for the forearm and pull this a little bit away from his face so we have a nice little arm raised there like so let's go up a little bit higher rotate this a little bit more like that and push it forward like that there we go that looks good right there okay so now let's go to the mirror pose and do ex we, let's do a nice extension back as the arm goes back so let's take uh, the forearm here and extend it back like so and let's take also uh, the clavicle here and give it a nice rotation as well let's see it from this angle so it looks better okay we want to look like that and pull it out like this okay so that looks nice right there okay and um, let's go ahead and just remove this in between keyframes for the arms so I'm going to press the uh, control key to delete these keys that are in the middle okay so let's see what we got so far so we go from here from here to there like that that looks pretty nice okay and uh, let's go ahead and also give uh, we're going to give the hand a little bit of follow through so let's start playing with the actual curves so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, select the different parts of the body here uh, we'll start off with the clavicle I'm going to center those curves like so now remember we only have half of the cycle here so if we want to have the full cycle we also need to copy and and do a mirror copy of the the right arm and the left arm as well as the uh, me do a copy of the first key and the last key of the cycle so that's exactly what we're going to do here first before we tweak the the follow-throughs so let's go ahead and select the right arm which is the one we've been working with so I'm gonna take this arm and I'm going to copy this frame and then I am going to paste that on the left arm and paste symmetrically 
like that. Okay, so we did that, and now we're going to select the right arm on at the middle of the walk cycle and copy that one, and paste it on the left arm, so it does the same thing symmetrically. So in other words, we have half a cycle right there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, select this key and copy it. And then we're going to paste this, not symmetrically, but just paste, like so. And then we're going to do the, the same thing with the right. We are going to copy and paste on the right arm over here at the end of the cycle. Like that. All right, so see, now we have a nice even curve start to begin, from beginning to end. Okay, so now we can start playing with the curves to give it a little bit of follow through as it does the walk cycle. And there you go. We have, have a nice, I'm walking proud walk cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the walk cycle side by side. So you can take a look at that before and after. So here's our default walk cycle. And here's our proud walk cycle. Pretty cool, right? So, not only that, now, now that you know how to do this, how to enhance the walk cycle, no, you can do something like this as well. By changing the timing and the poses, you can create, you can take that, uh, that default walk cycle and turn to something like this. The principles are the same. You have your contact, you have your passing pose, and you have your up and down, but you're changing the motion of the spine. You're changing the foot contact from from uh, the the ball of the foot to from the heel to the ball of the foot now, so you're walking, you're tiptoeing things around. Or you can make it more exaggerated, sneaking around walk cycle, something like this. <laughs> which is pretty cute, right? All right, and this is all about changing the timing of the same animation and making it faster. So uh, play around, have fun, and enjoy it. Well, I hope uh, you uh, learned a lot from this tutorial, and I will catch you on the next one. Until then, have a great day and uh, or a good night. Take care.